In this video, we will build a simple tool that will help us to automate the calculation of fair value of a stock. If you have read Phil Town's Rule 1 Investing, a similar approach is used. He called it sticker price calculation. So we will use a very similar method. So on the first step, we will talk about why do you even need to automate stock research? Why don't just use Excel? So we will talk a little about this. On the second step, we will build this tool. So we will look at how the code works. All the code is available in the description below. So let's get started. First of all, if you want to get updates on automating stock research, you can subscribe to the channel by pressing the subscribe button under the video. You will not miss a single new video. Okay, when many investors start stock research, they do it manually. So they get all the data manually using services like Yahoo Finance, MSN Money, and many others. They compile the data using Excel, for example, and then manually work with the data. So there are several problems with this approach. First, you have to pull all the data from for all the stocks, and this is very time consuming. So the fundamentals are constantly changing. Every quarter, the price is constantly changing. So you have to update all the data manually, and this is extremely time consuming. Also, it's very hard to make complicated charts and work with the data in more complex ways. One solution is to use, for example, Google Sheets. It's possible to pull the data automatically. But again, you are very limited in your tools. You can't make something complex, some complex charts, or work with the data in more complex ways. Also, you are limited in what kind of data you can pull. So there are many limitations to that. So using tools like Streamlit may be a solution. So the Streamlit tool was built for scientific purposes, but it's very suitable for stock research. With it, you can build very complex applications very fast. You can make complex charts, you can make various controls, and most importantly, you can do it very fast. This is not advertising, I do not get any compensation from Streamlit, I use it for my own research. Okay, we will use Streamlit to build this tool. So first, I will show you the final result, how the tool will look like when we are done. Okay, we punch in the ticker, in this case, Apple, we can see the sector, industry, website, company's market cap. We can read about the company. So all the data is pulled automatically. We can adjust the growth rate, price to earnings, required rate of return. And we can see the upside. In this case, Apple is trading around its fair value. But if we adjust the growth rate, we can see that the current upside is around 10%. We can also adjust the price to earnings. Okay, first, several requirements. You have to have Python and Streamlit installed. It is possible to install Streamlit on Windows and Mac OS. There are many tutorials how to do that. The process should be very straightforward and fast. Okay, on the first step, let's make the request to Yahoo Finance API and just show something on screen. First, we import Streamlit. We import the requests library. We show initial UI, ticker and button clicked. So ticker is just a text input, button clicked is just a button. So if the button is clicked, we make the request. So the request string, I break it down on two strings just to fit on the screen. So basically it's just one string. It's the request to Yahoo Finance API. It contains several modules that we will use like asset profile, the price and statistics. We hold this data in the session variable. The reason for that is that we need to show several controls and only part of the code will update all the time. And if the session variable has any data, we show some text on the screen. So when the button is clicked, we hold this data in a session variable. And if there is any data in a session variable, we show the text on screen. So let's run our tool. If we press a button, we can see the text Okay, now let's show some data. Let's show the company profile. So we will show not just the text, we will show the company info. Basically, we use the Streamlit metric control, which has the label and the variable. So we show the company, sector, industry, website, market cap, and we also show the company description under the expander. The bottom text just makes space. Again, this is not a tutorial how to write clean code. So I, for example, would write just simple short functions. I try to make this as simple as possible. Okay, let's run the tool. We press the button and we can see the company's profile. We also can see the company info under the expander. So everything works as expected. Okay, now let's try to value the company. 
First, what data do we need? We will need the current price. We will need the growth rate for the next five years. We will need price to earnings. I use next 12 month price to earnings. We will need earnings per share. I use required rate of return of 10% and we project into five years. So we just show this data on screen. So let's look how it works. So we press set, we scroll down and we can see all the data that will be used in the calculation of fair value. So in this step, we only printed all the necessary data. Now let's try to make the calculation. We will need three controls for the growth rate, for the price to earnings, and for the required rate of return. So we create three controls with the first three lines of code. Okay, we have all the necessary data to make the calculation. First, we need the future price. We take the current earnings per share, grow them using the growth rate, multiply by future price to earnings, we get the future value, then we discount it back to the day using the required rate of return. I use 10%, but we can adjust that, so we get the sticker price. Then we calculate the upside and we display all the data on screen. So what we did is that we display three controls for the growth rate, for the price to earnings, required rate of return, and displayed five metrics, so five variables. So let's look how it works. So we type in another company, in this case Metastock. We can see the company's profile and we can see the valuation. We can adjust all the variables and we can see how the upside changes. Okay, so in this video, we talked about how to make the fundamental stock research tool. So again, all the code is available in the description below. Feel free to use it in your own projects. Everything is free. This kind of tool works best for growth companies. So it may not work for dividend stocks for slow growers. So again, this is best used for growth stocks. Also, if you want to know more what super investors bought in the previous quarter, here's the video. If you are not subscribed to the channel, you can do this by the subscribe button right here. You will not miss a single new video. Thank you very much for watching till the end and see you in the next video.